Hello and welcome to the channel WebDevPy. In this tutorial we are going to create this SVG GSAP decomposition effect. So let's get started. Okay, and let's firstly start with HTML. I have already connected JSAP CDN, script.js and style CSS files. And I have already SVG image and I can just paste it to the HTML. And now I want to stylize it. So I want to add such styles to the body. I want to set the background and font family. On family, I just want to set the standard sans serif. And for the SVG image, I want to set max height 100 VH and max width 80 VH. Okay, and the main code that we will do in this video is JSAP animations inside the script.js files. So the first animation that I want to do is JSAP to animation for the first element and it's called with id dot so over here we have the different passes with ids for background a subtracts and dot so firstly i want to do the animation for this dot so first parameter is id dot and second parameters is object with different parameters that jsap allows us to do so i want to set the animation the y-axis will be 60 so once we have added, we can see that dot will be animated on the y-axis on the 60 pixels. Also, I want to set duration. Delay 1. Also, I want to set repeat option that allows us to have all in cycle. Also, I want to set yo, -yo true effect. And I want to set also a little bit repeat delay. To 1. Okay, we have animated already the first element on the SVG image. And the next one I want to animate is A. We can set just similar parameters. For the A letter, I want to set Y axis 110, duration also 3, delay 1, repeat. And other parameters the same so let's test it so we can see that a letter goes on the 110 okay and the last animation i want to set for the background also the same parameters but different element so the element will be background and y-axis i want to set 330 duration 3 and other parameters the same and here is the result. For current background, we have set 330. And we can also test with 600. So now it will go under the 100 VH. And I have set back the value to 330. Also, if we open the developer console, we can see that there is also subtract element that we can also animate, of course. Um, it has the subtract ID, so we can also use JSAP to element subtract. We can set similar parameters for the animation, but for example, the value 50 for Y axis, and it will be also animated so thank you guys for watching, hope this video was very useful and this JSAP effects animation and all options was very useful for you. Uh, as always, all code is in the GitHub repository, so thank you guys for watching and welcome to my next tutorials.